Every day at an HCA facility, there are new stories born, a life started, a life saved, a new beginning, a second chance, thousands upon thousands of stories, every day, every year, for over 40 years. At its founding in 1968, HCA was one of the nation's first hospital companies. Today, we're the nation's leading provider of healthcare services. Nearly 5% of all inpatient care delivered in the country today is provided by HCA facilities. HCA isn't just the nation's largest healthcare system. We're at the forefront of the healthcare industry, working tirelessly to improve the quality of people's lives with the latest advances in medicine and technology. I had the good fortune of joining HCA right after I finished graduate school. And this is an organization that I chose to work with because I always felt that, in short, it had its act together. This company is, in reality, a living legacy of Dr. Frist Sr. and what he accomplished and what was important to him in his own life. He probably never envisioned that the company would get as large and impact as many people's lives as it did. You never hear anybody link Dr. Frist Sr.'s name with the bottom line, but his success in business proves that that, that was there, but he always thought that if you took those things that um, mattered from a character standpoint, everything else would fall in place, and he was right. His focus was always first and foremost on the patient and how the patient would benefit from that. But it was never, you know, we're making widgets here and let's make this a really successful company. It was what are we, if, as long as we're doing the right thing for the patient, the rest will take care of itself. I think Dr. Frist always had a vision of, of making a difference in healthcare, of making a difference um, in the way we deliver care in that there's a business side to it and there is a personal side to it and that those two can marry and you can still come out uh, successful. And while Dr. Frist is really good at being the, you might say the coach and the inspiration, you had to have someone like Tommy who knew exactly where you wanted to go and how to get there. Our employees are the company. If the company HA is going to be reach its potential, then all of our employees have to feel that our company really cares about their personal well-being as well. This story continues to be written every day by tens of thousands of people working in hospitals and surgical centers all around the country. We're not running a hotel. We're running a hospital. And I think what we should be doing is giving good care to people and, and trying to take care of their the needs the best we can. Physicians and the nurses and the auxiliary staff, the pharmacy people, you know, they all take care of each other, they all take care of the patients, and they all work together. If it wasn't for that love of, uh, you know, helping people, and trying to make people feel more comfortable uh, during a difficult situation, I don't think I'd be able to, you know, continue with it because it's a very stressful, uh, you know, career. We're constantly dealing with emergencies and, uh, you know, people's lives are on the line. It's the greatest job you'll ever have. You pour your heart and soul out every single day and your emotions are up and down, but at the end of the day, you know that what you did made a difference. Mission statements are parts of books. Uh, they're also hung on walls. They're reminders of why we're here doing what we're doing. But if the actions don't follow the words, they're worthless. It takes certain types of people to do this. Your ability to care for people's feelings and actual patient care, dealing with families, Nobody can tell you how to do some of the jobs that we do in this hospital. You just get the feel when you're here. You can't teach anyone to be dedicated, and you can't teach anyone 
to uh, have compassion or to be passionate about anything. That has to come from within. It's a, it has to be a real want and a real need within yourself. I think it all starts with a commitment. A commitment towards yourself, your values, and a commitment towards the organization you work for. And that, that's what makes a difference between just a regular worker who comes in every day and someone who comes in committed. It's been said to me before that hospitals are bricks and mortar. It's the people that provide the care within the confines of the hospital that make it what it is. I don't want anyone else doing my job because I know when I leave, the best job that could have been done has been done. I meet some of the most amazing people, patients, families. Uh, that's what I love about my job and it just it reaffirms my belief that this is where I belong and this is the kind of work I need to be doing. You want to take care of patients, do it and do it right and do it correctly and do it the best you can and you'll never be wrong. Whether it's profit or nonprofit, there's still a standard of care and it needs to be the highest quality care that you can offer our community. We've had a lot of facelifts here, names have changed here. We've had a lot of people come and go. But then if you don't have the staff that's willing to give all they can, you don't have a hospital. It's about your caregivers, and that's the bottom line. And going into the future, this story will continue to unfold. The many changes healthcare is experiencing requires HCA provide visionary leadership in how care is delivered. We're continually refining and changing the way the organization is structured to better position the company to take advantage of industry changes. We've renewed our commitment to patient safety and electronic health records and being the employer of choice. That's what makes the company. His dad said good people beget good. It is not just a job, it's a living, it's a life and it's a family HCA that we come together to provide health care to the communities we serve. If you want to be a part of an organization that is committed to helping people, then come work with these doctors, with these nurses, with this administration, who will help you be what you can be. Hospitals are great places to work. This is a great time to be in the healthcare industry. This is a great time to be in HCA.